This is crazy. No recipes that use Diet Pepsi at all. Hmm. Hi guys, Jenny with Jenny Squad here, and I'm back today for another Dollar Tree haul. Now, as always, I am very excited to show you what I found, but real quick before I get into the haul, don't forget to subscribe to the squad. I would love to have you. For those of you that are subscribed already, thank you so, so much. It means a lot to me. And don't forget to hit the bell so that you never miss when I upload a video. I upload every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. That way you don't miss out on the new and exciting things I find at Dollar Tree and other stores I shop at. And that's all I have for today. So let's get into the haul. All right, so the queen of random is back again. <laughs> I have lots of random things to show you today, including Christmas. So I'm going in no particular order whatsoever. I'm just going to go through and show you all the things I found. So real quick, I found this cookbook that you saw at the beginning. This is actually from um, TV. I think it was like a TV. What are those called? Adia, what are those called? TV, seen on TV purchases? As seen on TV, As seen on TV purchases. <laughs> That's what this is. So this is a red copper skillet cooking book. And it says quick, easy, and delicious recipes. But you don't need a red copper skillet to really make these. It has all sorts of good recipes in here with really nice photos. So here's some of them. Super nice and... This retailed for, I don't know if it shows it or not. No, it doesn't have a price on it or anything, but there's also a metric conversion uh, thing back here, which is really cool. You don't really see that too often anymore. So that's really helpful, but lots of good recipes that you can make in the skillet. They're all one skillet recipes. So I thought that was a really good find. And, um, oh, it says right here, as yeah, seen on TV. Boy. But yeah, so really good find for a dollar. I'm super happy I found that. Now, super random. I found this spatula. It's New York Knicks. I am not into basketball or anything, so I, I don't know. But I know the New York Knicks logo, so I was like, sure. But I think this is a really nice spatula. Look how, if you guys could feel how heavy this is, like I wish you could feel the quality of this. This is definitely not a Dollar Tree product. It says uh, the sportula on the back. So it looks like that. It has um, a can opener or a bottle opener, not a can opener. Sorry guys, I am like, I am out of it today. I have a little bit of a headache. So <laughs> I'm just trying to like go work through that just so I could get these videos out for you guys but I am so sorry but yeah this is a bottle opener and it's really nice it says um NBA right here and it's like a really nice wooden it's definitely a wood handle but wow like for a dollar that's a really great find it looks like it'd be great on the grill so that's a cool uh little find for a dollar and then I found this uh, little sign. I think was this out last year? It looks like somebody um, put this back because the string is broken and there was only one of these in my store and this is the only one I could find but I could just glue this back on. That's no big deal and it's just really cute. I think this was out I want to say I want to say last year. It looks very familiar to me but um it's super cute. I love this. I don't have one of these yet, and you guys know how I feel about the red truck, so I had to pick that up. That was the only one I saw. Um, and then I picked up this little ornament is new to me too. So this is a like little snowman ornament. He's really cute. He's fuzzy. So he's got this little cute hat on, but he's like a really fuzzy little like snowman ornament, and he's just really cute. They also had a Santa one. But the Santa one frightened me a little bit. It looked scary. So I actually really like the snowman. It could have just been the Santas that were in my store. They they were like all messed up. So I didn't pick up any of those. But I picked this. Even the snowman, you could see like the little blush is messed up. But it's nothing that I really care about. It's still really cute. So I got that for the tree. And then my daughter needed some more hair clips. So I picked up these for her. These look new to me. The colors are different. So I have not seen these before. These are all different shades of pink, 
which I really like. So it's kind of more not little kiddish. They're more like something that her and I would wear as far as like these pinks go. I think they're more teenager to adult. So these are really nice. And then these are super nice for fall. These are all different shades of brown and it has like a little bit of a peach tone there, but really, really cute. And I think these are really nice. She likes to pin her bangs back and I do too. I use these all the time when I pin like this part of my hair back. So I use those. And then I found this eyeglass cleaner for a dollar. It's huge and you can just use it. You spray it basically on your glasses or even if you don't have glasses and you wanna use it on like your little like compact mirrors and things like that, that works really well. But this is such a great deal for a dollar and it's this entire big bottle. It's 8.4 ounces and it's not a Dollar Tree product and it is really, really good. I, f I think my daughter's used a little already and it works really well. So I got that. And then I did pick up a couple more ornaments. So these are new to me as well. And it's this little sled looking ornament with the snowman. How cute is that? It says snow and it's basically like a glass image. It looks kind of like stained glass almost. How cute is this? So this one I got and then this one which says Noel on it. Really cute. Like I said, it's like kind of like a glass uh, image. I don't know if you can kind of see see my finger through it, but it's it's like a clear, like I said, stained glass kind of thing. So really, really cute. I like the metal on it. It's really nice. So I got that. And I picked up two of these lights. So these are the battery operated LED lights. These are the blue ones. I kind of wanted to see how these looked. I never pick up the blue ones. I always pick up just the white ones. I'm really into white lights. If you guys can kind of see back here too, but I really like white lights. So those are what I usually go with, but I did pick up the blue ones this time just to see how they look in certain areas. And I picked up this new dog treat um, canister. So mine's getting kind of old. And I did get the last one from Dollar Tree as well. So I wanted to pick up a new one and I liked the color of this one. So this is a really nice blue. It says love is a four legged word. And I figured I could put some of the doggies treats in there. It's so cute, like for a dollar. They had really big ones there too, like large uh, treat um, jars as well. So if you wanted to check those out, um, I would go and see if they have them in your store. If you're looking for something like that, they had much bigger ones than this too. <coughs> and then, excuse me. <clears throat> and then I got this gift bag. So normally I don't like picking these up because they rip and tear. They don't really hold, uh, things very well, but I picked it up just in case I have something large that I need to wrap. Sometimes I'll just throw this over it and I'll just tape it down. So I picked it up for that reason and I thought this print was really cute. I've never seen them do this print before with the dogs, but how cute is that? I'm sure my daughter would really, really like this one because it has all the little puppies on it. So it's really cute. And I got that one. And then I found more of the hard candy. So they're still coming out with this hard candy stuff. So this says glow all the way. I believe I have this one, but I will definitely use this because I like to use highlighter. So um, I will definitely put this to good use for a dollar. I had to pick it up. So I grabbed that and I also really like the colors on this one. This looks like it's more of a blush, like a blush highlighter contouring face trio so you can use it for contouring and then it has the blush in it as well it's really nice i got that and then i found only one of these little trinket tray things so or one of these uh, spoon holders for the kitchen and i'm glad that i found this one because i really really liked this one actually i was looking for this one so this says tomato soup on it and it's just really cute. It's for a, like a little spoon rest in the kitchen. So I picked it up for that reason because I love tomato soup. So I got this one and I'm going to put that in the kitchen. And then I found a couple new, whoops, I dropped something as usual, but I found a couple new shower curtains. So 
I had mentioned in my hauls before that I don't use these for a normal shower curtain like for the outside. If you do, that is completely fine. I just find them to be very, very thin and they don't last very long. So I use it for a liner, but I did find these two different ones. So this one says, what does this say? Let's take a look because I have no idea what this says. I thought it was really cute because it had the bubbles on it. Oh, you're the bubbles to my bath. How cute is that? So I found that and I'm going to use it for a shower liner instead because I tend to get shower curtains on Amazon where they kind of meet like the, um, the themes of the season. So right now I have a fall shower curtain up. So I'll use this for a liner for sure. And then this one I also found in this blue, and this says so fresh and so clean, I think it says. Let me just open it up. Yeah, so fresh and so clean. That's really cute. So I picked that up also for a liner. Again, these are super thin. It's like paper almost, um, but really good for a liner. And for a dollar, you could just throw it right out. So really good find. Um, and I like putting these away for when I need to change the liner on the inside. So I got those. I picked up a bunch of nails. So my relationship with Dollar Tree nails is a love-hate one. So they've lately come out with some really cute ones. And yes, they work. But do they last? Not really. So I would say the Kiss ones that I get are the best ones that you can find. And um, if you want to wear these nails, the ones from Dollar Tree, I would say for maybe two or three days, then you're probably good to go. I wash my hands a lot and things like that. So maybe that's why. But just, just saying. But they're really cute right now. And they look super nice compared to what they used to look like. So I have to pick up two packs because if I don't, the nails in one pack do not fit my fingers on both hands. They only fit the one. So if I get one pack, I won't be able to put them on both hands. So I have to pick up two. And I picked up this design and I think it's really nice. It's like perfect for, I feel like Halloween time or something like that. But how nice is this? It has the black with like the little glitter. It's really pretty. So I picked those up. And then I also picked up two of these. These are just the glitter ones. But how nice are these? These look super nice for a dollar. So I picked those up in case I want to just throw them on for a little while. And then I picked up these as well. Super nice again for a dollar. I really like the design and it's really pretty. I usually always have my nails done, but I did recently take them off to kind of give my nails a break. So that's why I don't have any on right now. And then I found these hair holders, which are super pretty. I figured my daughter could use them for school. They're just black with a little metallic uh, on the inside, but really nice. These are Sophie. And it says eye candy accessories from Toronto. So super nice for a dollar and you get a lot of them. They don't have the metal that irritates like your hair. So perfect for her for school. And then I found this epoxy super glue. So this is crazy that they sell this for a dollar. So you can use this. Um, it's a five minute quick setting epoxy. It's clear and you can use it on metal glass and much more it says. But the reason I picked this up is because we are kind of making some coasters and the epoxy glue is actually needed for them. And I want to show you guys what these coasters look like that we're using the epoxy glue on because you can't see the epoxy glue at all. So here is one of them. How cute is this? So this is one of the coasters that we made with the epoxy glue. And it just says apple cider, hay rides, pumpkin spice, s'mores, and pies. And it'll go on the Etsy shop. And then this one is just a bunch of pumpkins, but how adorable. Like, I am obsessed with this one. So this one is so cute. It looks like this. It matches my shirt and my watch. <laughs> if you guys can't tell, I really, really like plaid. But this is uh, really cute. It ha even has, like, the little leopard print pumpkin. And 
that's what we use that epoxy glue for and it works awesome. So that's all I have for today. And I am very excited that I was able to share that with you guys. And uh, make sure you stay tuned. Hit the like button if you like this video. It really helps my channel out. I know it's a little gesture, but it really, really does help out. Um, so thank you so much for those of you that are doing that already. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys.